will be late for mass. You look so much like an angel. I thought it a sin to wake you. visited whenever life is cruel. Lord, I humbly thank you for the wealthy. And may they continue to send their daughters to convents. Charming. Your girls are an example to us all, I would say. And your winery is doing splendidly. I know that the Cardinal will be as pleased with this year's revenues as I was with the wine. Thank you, Your Grace. And God's blessing on you, Baron Mullins, for protecting the bishop on his long journey. He wouldn't be safer in God's own hands. Drive on. Go on. Godspeed, Your Grace. Most merciful Father, you're too kind. That were your attempting to hit, little brother? Of course not. The uh, pit of the arm is where armor's most vulnerable. You're supposed to be preparing for your meeting with the bishop. I thought it better to prepare for the initiation tournament instead. Little preparation is required of spectators, Cedric. Now, come on. Oh, I'm going to win, Father. Just like my brothers before me. That should convince you I have the skills to be a knight. Why does everyone think being a knight is so damn splendid? Most die in their first battle. Now, this is not a topic for discussion, Cedric. You're going with the bishop to his monastery in Scotland. No. It's the best course for your future. The clergy can be a wonderful life of spirituality and peace. Good, then you can go in my place. Well, I would gladly, but for that celibacy problem. You're not helping, you know. Father, please, let me enter this tournament. And if I don't win, I'll go with the bishop without complaint. Only unconsciousness silences this family's complaints. Cedric, Cedric, spare yourself the pain of defeat. You'll be going against the best new prospects in the county. Well, their skills may be better, Father. But I'll be fighting for a greater prize, freedom. You'll see, Father. My commitment to victory is as true as my aim. Just... <laughs> 
Jesus. Coachman, what's going on? Why are we stopping? Sorry for the delay. Explain yourself. If you'd be so kind as to hand over your purse. And the bishops as well. I mean no disrespect, Your Grace. But there are many poor people in England who could put that money to much better use than the Vatican. The only thing you'll be handed is your head on the end of my sword. <laughs> Do you not see my arrow pointed at your heart, man? In the name of the church, put that weapon down. This money is for holy work. In the name of the church, the devil has picked many pockets. Ah! I had hope to avoid exercise today. Yes. And I do believe that's Mullins about to receive the sharp end of a highwayman's sword. And we've come just in time. <laughs> yes, we did. Maybe we should... Intervene? Well, it would be the noble thing to do. Very well. But let's not push the horses. See you in hell. My next target will be a far larger one. I always surrender to beauty. You surrendered. Now I suggest you do the same or I take back the life I just saved. I was about to overpower him when you appeared. Hm. It's true. He had my sword expertly blocked. With his throat. Do you know who we've captured? Daniel O'Shea, the most wanted outlaw in all of England. Folk tales. Malicious folk tales. What impudence. <laughs> to rob a dignitary of the church. We'll escort you the rest of the way to our castle, Bishop. After we've taken the prisoner to mine. He's our prisoner. We take him to our dungeon. He was robbing me. We apprehended him. He's ours. The outlaw belongs in my custody. The king's law is quite clear. There's one thing that I must insist on. You'll see that he gets a fair trial, of course. I guarantee it. John Mullins, lies glide across your face as easily as dead leaves across a frozen pond. You'd have the man hanged before tomorrow's breakfast. I demand that you release him to me. He'll be fine here. That hoodlum is mine. I'll be back with the sheriff and a royal order that says so. He may be angry. <laughs> Richard, Armas, take him to our dungeon. We'll deliver him to the king after the tournament. Bishop, this is Cedric. more like a knight than a cleric. He's young, Your Grace. He has a romanticized view of combat. Well, there can be no greater battle than the war over men's souls. We are the holy knights of the Lord. These robes are our armor. The church is our castle. Right. What did you say? He said good night. Didn't you, Cedric? Yes, yes, yes. I've been, I've been going to bed so early lately. All this studying, Your Grace, makes me uh, quite weary. That outlaw has stolen more than purses, I can tell you that. <laughs> and what he stole, a girl can't buy back for herself. Disgusting, ah, uh, disgraceful. Where do you think you're going? To feed the poor misguided creature. You serving a man who disgusts you so. 
won't be the first time. But you, you're too much a lady to serve a man so disgraceful. It could do a lady good to be disgraced by a man like that. Oh, I'm taking the tray. Oh, for my lifeless body. Give it to me. No, you What's going on in here? Just preparing a tray of food for the prisoner, my lady. And you were giving him this knife so he can cut both of your throats. We weren't thinking right, my lady. No, you weren't thinking at all. You were too busy clucking like a couple of hens. Here, I'll take the tray. I'll find the two of you locked in his cell and him halfway back to Ireland. My name is Eleanor. It's a strange castle where the noble play servant to the lowly. The servants found you too dangerous. I'm not half as dangerous as the tongues that wag those lies about me. Lies? With my own eyes I saw you rob the bishop and John Mullins. An illusion. I was hungry and I merely stopped his coach to ask him for some charity. The man's generosity was expressed with a swipe of his sword. You're a liar. A liar, is it? And who do you believe, me or John Mullins? The man's reputation is worse than mine. Step to the back of the cell. Don't be such a coward. I can't help you. You won't get any supper unless you step back. Wait over here. A man wouldn't be afraid to get closer. I'm not afraid. Locked behind bars, still you fear me. Hmm. You'd best call one of your brothers. I can't seem to reach it. Let go of me! Concentrate. If you concentrate any harder, your brain would steam. Sedwick's asked me to train him for the tournament. You said no, of course. I said yes. I said you would help as well. Father will kill us. Not the way we're going to train him. Mother's last wish was to have Cedric join the church. We're going to see that her wish comes true. No. Yes. Gone, were you? Don't go. Come and have a good look at your caged animal. Or will you come in to have a look at yourself? Myself? We're both the same under the skin. I'm no outlaw. No? You walking around in pants, shooting a crossbow as well as any man? A noble father wouldn't approve of that. He lets me do what I want. Because he knows you'll do it anyway. It doesn't mean he approves of it. Oh, you're an outlaw, all right against noble behavior and the rules that restrict women like a girl. And you don't agree with those rules? Repression. That's all it is. The same kind of noble repression I've been fighting against since birth. Mm. No, it's not the same thing. Repression is repression, no matter which way you look at it. And we're just fighting different battles against the same enemy now, aren't we? <laughs> 